Hello my Sockiners to the final top 10 video of the year, the one that I've been yeah, thinking about and ranking over the longest. Uh, it's the top 10 jerseys of the year. Whew. Wearing one of the top 10 jerseys, uh, I can tell you right away for this video one that I'm, you know, I'm very proud. It's my favorite jersey that I got this year. Um, I was actually thinking, should I do another one with the top 10 worst jerseys of the year? But you know, I want to A, keep a positive tone and B, uh, it would be also a lot of work. So how did I come up with the list of few ground rules first? Because it's a little bit weird. Uh, club jerseys first. It needs to be club jerseys issued for the 1920 season. So everything that was worn in the first half of 2019, although there were some really nice jerseys in there, do not count they were part of last year's top 10. Uh, I know. It's a little bit weird. For national teams, it's even weirder. Um, anything that was released and to be worn at last year's World Cup, even if the team did not qualify, should not qualify. With a one, with possible exception of Asian teams that were not at the World Cup, because the Asian Cup, I was not really, really aware. In the end, it did not matter because in my top 20, there's only one Asian team with a really nice jersey, though. But yeah, that was the one rule. Um, I also needs to be needed to be released in 2019. However, I take out the new releases by Adidas and Puma that came in November for the reason because those are intended for Euro 2020. So I want to count these for next year, although they have already been released, but they have only been worn in one match. Yes, some of these jerseys have been only worn in one match, but I count them. In my mind, as for instance, the new uh, Germany jersey, this is a Germany 2020 jersey. Yeah, weird, but those are the ground rules. Um, I think also for the AFCON, I have to say there were some jerseys that were newly released. There were some jerseys that were uh, holdovers from the World Cup, so you won't see the Nigeria jersey, for instance, in this top 10 as well. Okay, again, same as before, I actually rated 21 jerseys in my jersey reviews uh, that were applying to, to those rules with a 10 star rating. So I took those jerseys. Um, I redid the uh, uh, grading for uh, the white Brazil jersey. I added that one in there because it is very special. Uh, and I have to say, I added also another jersey, if, uh, you know, I haven't done a France shirt, jersey review, and there's one jersey that will be in the honorable mentions that is really, really nice. I have not decided yet if I make it a 10 star, but uh, given from what I've seen, it might as well be a 10 star jersey. The France jersey review I will probably make uh, early in the new year. Having said all that, let's get started. With number 10, it's the Angola home jersey. I'm already setting the tone for the countdown here. Um, some may say it's over-designed. I have to say, when I saw it in play, when I look at it, it just looks gorgeous. First of all, um, it's the typically red Angola jersey with a little bit black and yellow thrown in there. Second, it uses a local artist to create this kind of um, very tribal effect on it. And again, when I'm judging jerseys, I, e I have to judge it within the context, especially for national teams. Such a jersey would not work for France. For France, for instance, I expect a rather plain jer jersey and, you know, little details can make or break that jersey. Uh, for Angola, my my range of reference is much smaller. Yes, it's not your uh, typically Angola look. This is, would be with um, um, black and a yellow stripe going across the chest, but I actually like it for a different uh, for 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 a different look. And in, in exactly this cultural context in this jersey, which is something I love about African jersey, really puts this jersey. Uh, in my top ten, this is one jersey I've made by Laka Tony. I still have not seen. Uh, if and where I could buy this one. I absolutely love this jersey and I think it sets really nicely the tone for this top 10. There will be some very traditional looking jerseys in there, but I think most of them are rather a little bit on the crazy side. 
Number nine, Bridge is this crazy and traditional. It's the England women's away jersey. And we will see a bunch of women's jersey in there. The Women's World Cup uh, was a really great looking tournament. There were many special jerseys released uh, for, for the women that were usually much better than the male counterparts. And this England away jersey is one of those. Um, the one thing I have to say that uh, it would rank higher if I think such a jersey could be worn by the men. I think the floral pattern works really well for a women's jersey. It's an absolute gorgeous jersey. Don't get me wrong. I actually, I would love to own it. I just think if this was worn by the men, I don't think it would, I would give it the same rating. Yes, gender bias, whatever, but it works just better as a women's jersey. But for that, it works perfectly. I also like the dark shade of red. Then the floral pattern in there, even uh, the way the crest is put, it's really gorgeous, very, very well made jersey. Good job on Nike. Number eight, we stay with Nike and this is the PSG third jersey that has been worn at home in the Champions League for most of the time. Uh, it harks back to the traditional PSG look when uh, Nike took over. I think PSG is the longest serving partnership with Nike as far as I know so uh, it makes sense that for this special look back and uh, I have to say the Nike third jersey range has a certain uh, retro feel to it they go back all the way to the first PSG jersey would I like it better if they used the one with the Eiffel Tower yes but this one is really really cool I like the white I like the nice color I like the off-center double stripe um, the only thing is there's a diagonal shadow pattern in there that goes a little bit against the pattern. That, I think, drops it down to number 8 in this list, but it's a really nice looking jersey. One that I really would like to have. A little bit more of a classy look, but really, really a nice one. Number 7 is also a very classy look. This is your classic Peru jersey. Marathon. The first Peru jersey they put out was crazy with the red sleeve and so on. This one gorgeous. This is your perfect Peru jersey. You don't need to add more. White with the sash going along. The only thing that would make it even more perfect is the sash would go over the shoulder. That's the one thing that I would like to have. But other than that, gorgeous jersey. Absolutely gorgeous jersey. And um, yes, it's an Ecuadorian company. I really would like to have this Peru jersey. Uh, there was one also by Umbro in the early 2010s and so on that was similarly nice. But I think this one really hits all the right spots. So, really, really nice one. Uh, there will be only nice jerseys in there. And, you know, number six is one I've been fighting over whether I should put this jersey in there or not. But yes, the Germany women's home jersey. Um, I was debating, should it be higher, should, should it be lower? I think when I went through the ranking, uh, it fell exactly there. What I like about this one is it, it takes this traditional Germany jersey from the 1990 World Cup, and more importantly, from the 89 Women's Euro. This was the first time that Germany won the European Championship, and that's why it's the right jersey to use here. And uh, kind of sad celebrating 30 years of that. Pretty nice touch, I have to say. Um, but taking the pattern and leaving the flag in there, Remember the 2018 Germany home trips did not have, they had, it's just tone and tone. Here they leave the colors of the German flag, they make a really nice, bold, pixelated pattern, making a splash and making this uh, jersey their own. The one thing that is the real drawback is it was never sold in the men's version. This should have been sold for the fans of the German women national team as a male version as well, because it is beautiful. And there were many people in Germany that would have loved to buy this jersey. This is, uh, I think Adidas really dropped the uh, marketing ball there because that one is a winner. This is the Germany jersey that I actually would like to have, to be honest. Uh, it is great, absolutely great. Modern reinterpretation of, all, of a classic with this pixelated effect in there. Really, really nice one. Um, cannot recommend it more highly. Then on number five, we go back to tradition with the Milan, current Milan home jersey, which I own. I said it before in the uh, my favorite jersey that I got this year. This is probably the best club 
home jersey this year. Um, and I say home because uh, we have another club jersey in this countdown that does not uh, make it. Yes, it has a very traditional look. Maybe some would say boring. I absolutely love it. looks like a Milan jersey that I could have bought in the 90s. Especially, I love that the sleeves are also striped. There is no additional patterning, no form strap over. And it's just attached to the body. Uh, so you have this... I know it looks weird at sometimes that you have um, that the sleeves actually, go, if you go outside against the pattern, but if you go on the side, it is nicely striped. It looks great on the on, on, honestly. I was waiting for such a simple jersey from Milan for a long time. Yes, the straps for me are a little bit thinner than I would uh, prefer. However, this is in honor of the 69 European Cup winning team that wore it that with that thin stripes, and for that it is just picture perfect uh, it is a retro design and it hits all the right marks even with the little white puma cats on there the white spawns everything there was a uh, centenary jersey or anniversary jersey not centenary well, a 20 year jersey released that uh, used a lot of gold and i actually have to say to me this cheapened the look uh, this is a really good looking jersey the team unfortunately is not good looking uh, playing in it. Absolutely love this one. At number four, and that's the last club jersey we have in this countdown, <laughs> believe, it, believe it or not, is the Roma away jersey. And I was going back and forth. Do I like this one more or the Milan jersey more? And in the end I went with Roma because it is a spectacular design that actually should fail on all accounts, but it does not. It takes the white then puts this sash with uh, the lightning bolt in there. And the lightning bolt is all kinds of colors of red, between red and uh, yellow. However, it works perfectly that it even can incorporate the sponsor by getting a little bit lighter, a little bit more yellowish towards the center where the sponsor is put. This is a genius stroke. Then on the back, the taping, and you have the uh, Lupetto uh, crest on there just adds to the gorgeousness of it all. I think it's also worn with red numbers, which gives it additional vibrancy. Um, I normally would like the sponsor on there to be in red, but I think here it works in black. Yes, uh, it's a Qatar Airways sponsor, which I honestly have a little bit of a problem with, but it works. It doesn't intrude with the pattern. This jersey looks gorgeous. And I have to say, I was really, when I did this list, Milan or Roma, Milan or Roma. And then I said, um, the Milan jersey is beautiful and we have not seen anything like that um, in a long time, especially from Milan. So that's where it hits for me that this is an absolute beautiful jersey. But the most spectacular one, the one that, is, that you need immediately recognize and one that is absolutely, I don't want to say fashionable, but striking, is the Roma jersey. It is more pleasing to the eye and that's why I put Roma on number four. Before we get to the top three, uh, I want to give the next five as honorable mentions, um, not necessarily in order. Um, the white Brazil jersey, uh, let's do it in uh, alphabetically order. The white Brazil jersey is just gorgeous. I have to say, it's a special jersey. Yes, I only read it with nine stars. I think I'm willing to give it 10 stars. When I uh, compare it with a home jersey, it just looks a little bit more special to me now. Both are really, really nice. Uh, we have the Manchester City uh, 120 years uh, jersey that was worn in a charity shield. Gorgeous. Simple and gorgeous. I cannot. I really like this one. This was very close to make it in number 10. Uh, in the end, I decided for Angola uh, instead of that one. Then the Mali home jersey. Uh, it's basically this jersey. It's just the one thing is that, that it's yellow and that swallows these yellow lines here. That's the only problem I have with that one. Spectacular design. Um, and yeah, I didn't want to feature the same team twice in the countdown. Um, yes. This is in the top three. Uh, uh, similarly, Marseille, the anniversary home also. This was one I was going back for. I have not made a review. Um, the cross kind of replicating the uh, coat of arms and the flag of Marseille and then the silvered out OM and even the sponsor. I mean, you can get it sponsorless, but also if there's a sponsor, it's very silvery. It fits very nicely. It's a really, really, really nice looking jersey. Uh, that would be 
pretty high on my list. I think also the Marseille home jersey is really, really nice, the current one. And then the last one is the Sporting Strom jersey, also an anniversary jersey. I just love the retro look. The half, half green, white, and then the black uh, tie collar. Really, 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 really nice one. Top three, number three, the Australian women's home jersey. Uh, I was going back and forth and I read people that say it shouldn't, it doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. For me, it's just, A, it's an homage on an Australia jersey from the 90s. B, I like the brush stroke effect. And Australia is one of those countries that can get away with this. Uh, yes, we want to see the yellow uh, very prominently, which is there. But you also have the green and the white there. And it's a spectacular look, uh, especially for a women's jersey. But this... Unlike the um, England uh, jersey, could very well work as a men's home jersey, jersey as well. I absolutely love this one. It is loud, it is brash, it is different. Uh, this is the jersey I really would like to have uh, from the Women's World, World Cup. This was an absolute gorgeous one. Um, fully deserving to be in the third spot. Unfortunately, Australia got eliminated early, uh, but I absolutely love this jersey. And for the longest time, this jersey would have been sitting at number two. Until I recalled that, and now we get to number two, France put out a centenary home kit long sleeve that is everything I would expect from a France jersey. Unfortunately, it was only worn in one game. The royal blue, the golden cockerel crest in the old style, even with the nice band in there, uh, the numbering style was great. The, everything about this jersey screamed gorgeous from the get-go. Yes, there is not much there. It is just your royal blue. But this is what I would, would expect a France jersey. This is straight. Could have been worn in the 50s. In the 60s, uh, 60s France got, got a little bit more uh, adventurous. But this is such a classic look. I would love to have this jersey. I really would love to have this shirt jersey. It was sold out in no time and it actually was quite expensive. I still am on the lookout for it. Maybe I can swoop it up somewhere. Absolutely a winner. And now, by now you know who's number one. This one, the Mali Away jersey. I cannot say more nice things about this. The, it's African, so it should be loud. The eagle is great. You see the colors on there. The pattern, the silvery is great. You have the flag on there. It is um, a special company with airness as well. So it's kind of homemade too. Um, maybe it is over-designed? I don't think so. It is exactly what it should be. The only downside for this one was that the number was riding a little bit too low. If you would have put here a shield or something in the claws of the eagle with the numbers, that would have put it over the top. This would have made it perfect. I love the golden crest because Mali is known for its gold production. This is the most perfect jersey and this I was thinking about if I would make a countdown, this would be in the top three, three jerseys that I own for everything that I have. When I saw this jersey, I was just wowed, wowed. Um, could we make some things different? Maybe, maybe make it a little bit more wing-like, but then again, it is this swooping pattern. I, I love it. I love this jersey. I really, really love the jersey. It's one of the best jerseys ever, I would say. I would venture. That's just me. Maybe I just disqualified myself from all the list. Uh, so yeah, let, let me know what your top 10 jerseys of this year are. These are my top 10 jerseys. Uh, I would really be curious what you think. Uh, just one note. Many people go crazy over the integers, especially the alternates. I'm not. I really do not like these because they, to me, do not scream inter. There, again, frame of reference. For me, inter... Uh, is black and blue and then they have some white. Maybe they can have a black jersey, but there should be a little bit of blue in there. So just as an explanation, if you go to my Serie A, I really do not like these inter jerseys. I know people go crazy about this. Other than that, yeah, this, this is it. Let me know what you like. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!